There you are. Well, that's Phil sorted. What are the rest are you having? Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll settle up with you later, yeah? yeah. Oh, no, sorry. No need. Okay. Cheers. Um, tell Sonia that I'm thinking about her. Yeah, I will do. You should get her to write her feelings down about Rocky. It can be quite, um, healing and informative. She started a mood diary. How is she? Good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Considering. You ain't been to see her, have you? No. Martin! You wonder why I don't do, fellas? Well, I've been meaning to I have. It's just, you know, I've been ill and... Her world has shattered into a million pieces. I expect it better of you, Martin. Current mood. Disappointed. And a little bit cross. Hello. Yes, this is Martin Fowler. No, no, now's a great time. Couldn't have pulled it a better time to finish it. All right. See ya. So, if it wasn't the caring, supportive manner, of Mr. Fowler that first attracted you to him. It must have been his spuds. <laughs> well, uh, I'll pay you back later. Actually, I won't, because all my spouse and the house winnings went on the kids' presents, so... Yeah, I am sick or feeling like a charity case. You need to get yourself a decent job, you know? It'll make you feel part of the world again. Mm. It's right for you, isn't it, Grey's right-hand woman? Seriously, Stace, you can't carry on like this. No, I know. I will, uh, I'll speak to Kat. See if I can get a few more shifts. You can do so much better than that. Have you seen my CV? It's about as attractive as Phil Mitchell in the morning. <laughs> I can fix that. But you need to start selling yourself. Oh, right. OK, so I'm Stacey Slater. I've been inside for GBH. Do you want to give me a job? <laughs>